Well, hello and welcome back to the other side of Christmas, Yule, uh, whatever holiday you are celebrating. Um, hope you all had a, a lovely time and um, I don't know about you, but I, I kind of tend to like the days in between Christmas and New Year because it gives me time to literally do nothing. <laughs> literally just sit and think and read and do all the things that I keep swearing I have no time for, but I have no excuse on these days. They're kind of, they're not non-days, they're contemplation days. That's what I'd like to call them. I tend to find myself, um, because my mind's not thinking about other things, I tend to think about things that I find interesting and then find new interests that branch off from there. So anyway, that's that's been my few days in between <laughs> in between Christmas and here and I hope you have equally had a lovely time I know I have I've been looking into some of the books I got for Christmas and just generally um, getting myself sorted out I have been trying to um, spruce up my studio so at some point in the new year I'll be doing a studio tour yes I will Yes, <laughs> that will spur me on to make sure <laughs> that I get it all sorted out. I have um, done quite a lot of it and yeah, we'll get into that in the new year. But for now, what I wanted to do was to uh, swatch out these beautiful Holbein pastel watercolours that I got in my last art haul video. Um, probably about two or three ago, maybe. Um, but yes, um, I didn't get to do these. I did all the other things from the hall, but I wanted these to have their own little section because what I'm going to aim to do is to swatch them out and then create something from these, maybe including some of my other supplies as well, because I am um, mixed media, should I say, when I do work, I tend to not stick with just one thing but I do love watercolour I do love gouache I love pencils I think you know I love pencils <laughs> true, true love of mine um and let's crack on with this excuse me sorry there's a Mr Squirrel just running <laughs> running along the fence I like to watch him as he goes along he's bounding around he likes to come down and have a little drink and then go back up onto his fence again uh but he's having a whale of a time Anyway, I digress. Let's have a look at these beautiful watercolours. I'll leave that there for a second. Um, and we'll have a look at the box. So it's a nice box of 12 colours. It says Aquarelle Holbein Ensemble de 12 colours. It's in French, obviously. It's Holbein Artist water Watercolours 12 colours set. Now, I think I said in this set we have got some beautiful pastel colours. Um, so we've got a brilliant pink, we've got a shell pink, Naples yellow, um, jaune brilliant, uh, leaf green, composed green, emerald green, and we've got composed blue, horizon blue, and we have verdita blue, lavender, and lilac. So what I'm going to do, <laughs> if you saw my other swatching attempt, I'm going to try and just do a little dot on my swatchy system here, which I have drawn out. Yes, look, I am, I am, I am prepared. <laughs> I am prepared. What am I talking about? Okay, so let's take the lid off me water. I'll start to putting the lids on now, just in case I have some kind of a major accident. <laughs> not that not that kind of major sort of like spillage all over the table kind of thing um so yeah first one so the first one is the brilliant pink and pigment name for this is pr209 and pw6 <sighs> please be nice play nicely lid don't run off a little squidger, a little squidger on my page. Can't get a tongue back on there. <laughs> Come on! At least it's not flying all over the place like the last one did. Right, so let's have a look at Brilliant Pink. 
Ooh, it is rather brilliant. I am liking this. I'm just going to take this swatch out to the end and then swatch it down. That's rather nice. I have been looking for a nice pastel set. I have got into pastels in quite a way this year simply because I got some pastel um, pencils and a set of pastel oil pastels. And I thought this seen this set around and I wanted to try them. Got bits on that already. There we go. So that's Brilliant Pink. This number is W double O twenty five. So double O twenty six. This is Shell Pink and the it does tell me on here at P O seventy three and P W six. So these have all got a white edition, which is nice. That's how you get your pastels. Try not to squeeze from the middle. There we go. You're playing nicely, watercolours. I like you. So shell pink. Oh, that is nice also. I'm going to have some fun with these. I'm trying to think of what I'm going to paint with them. And I've got an idea to do some birds. That's kind of like one of my defaults. <laughs> it's either owls or, or generally birds. But I think I want to do some pastel birds. I think I'll enjoy that. Hmm, lovely. Okay, so the next one we have is the Naples Yellow. Now Naples Yellow are always different. This one has got Where's its information? I keep finding it and losing it again. PY 35, 42 and PW6. So again, we've got that white in there. Come on, little tiny squidger. There we go. Well done, Holbein. I don't know what the, happens with the other ones. It was like an explosion in a pen, in a paint factory with a core. Um, Luckily, I had the tins to put them in and I have been using them, but it was like, whoa, they're never going to stop coming out. Whereas these are behaving nicely so far. So good. I always think that Naples yellow is a lot more creamier than this one, but everybody's got their own different variety, haven't they, I suppose. Um, and this is Holbein's and I quite like it as part of the pastel kit. I think it's great. Uh, Swatch that down a bit. Lovely. I'm going to like all of these, aren't I? <laughs> okay, so this is Jaune Brilliant number one, and that has in it PO20, PY35, and PW6. So come on, he can be good as well. And That's swatchy, swatchy. I'm dripping water everywhere. Oh yes, nice. That is also very nice. These are going to make, I'm, I think I'm going to have fun doing birds with these. It's going to be a nice, relaxing, calming painting session, <laughs> she said, hopefully. Uh, leaf green is the next one I keep forgetting to tell you but in this one we have PY154 PG7 so there's no white in this one this is a leaf green and there's a little bit of binder came out with that one hopefully it'll swatch out in the mix swipe down my brush a little bit I'm being a bit overzealous with the water additions here okay that's going to that's going to be very helpful when it comes to doing some greenery because obviously I want to do some birds with some greenery around them and that's like a really nice fresh it's kind of like a yellowy green I like that that's really nice compose green is our next one and in this one it is PY3 PG seven and pw6 so we do have some white edition in this one 
let's have a little dotty on here old dotty there we go wash my brush out and swatch it out that is an also a beautiful green I tell you what Holbein are really great at the pastels I have to say I know you can mix your own um, oh, I've got a little bit of a tilt going on there let's turn you around a bit <laughs> I know you can mix your own but to have them ready to go great so this is emerald green nova and this has in it py3 pg7 and pw6 so little dot on there i don't know whether i'm going to put these into um into a, a pan or not i'm not sure how they work i don't know whether they're best from tube or if i could actually put them into pans um if you know and you've tried it let me know how you got on because i'm kind of tempted Ooh, this is nice this is emerald green but it's it's kind of a really nice it's got a really nice tone to it that i like a lot that'll probably be the addition of the white i would imagine oh yes I'm I'm liking that one as well. I'm liking all of these so far. Don't quite know why my um, my camera just wants to tilt at the moment. <laughs> okay, so now we're on some blues. This is Compose Blue. It is PB fifteen and PW six. So no extra. So it's just the white in this one dot of that there i like compose blue i have some shinhan pass in a compose blue that's like a combination of watercolor and gouache as far as i can make out um it's a hybrid color um hybrid shinhan pass is a hybrid um style of paint that is lovely I don't think I'd call it pastel per se, but I don't know who Percy is. Uh, but I think that's going to blend in really nicely and could, if you added white to it, also make uh, another fabulous different set of colours. This one is Horizon Blue and oh, come back. The colours are. Do, do, do pigment where are you can't find the pigmentation every time i find it and then it goes ah pb15 pg7 and pw6 little dot on the page go back in its space uh, I do apologise about the lighting again. It was rather lovely and, and when I decided to start doing the video, but then it's just so, suddenly gone really dark. The weather's been not predictable at the moment, but we have had some rather lovely rainbows, which has been lovely to see from the studio window. Okay, that's nice. That is my kind of a blue. It's kind of like a really beautiful sky blue. Lovely. Okay, next one, Verdita Blue, and the pigments are PB28 and PW6. So, let's see what this one's. Oh, this is nice. It's kind of, I always say this, kind of like a periwinkle. I do like periwinkles, <laughs> probably as I keep compose, composing, comparing all the colours to periwinkle. Let's get rid of some more white water off my brush there. Okay. Rather lovely. That is nice. Then we have uh, lavender, which is PV15, PB29 and PW5. Was that five or six? Six, I couldn't read. <laughs> Another dot 
on my page. I'm really happy with the selection in here, I have to say. Um, yeah, really liking the colours. I don't think there's one I've not liked yet, really. I think they're all pretty nice. And I presume that these are all available separately as well. So if you run out of one, you can go and top up. I have a few. I don't know if I've got two or three Holbein watercolours. Um, I've mainly got the Holbein gouache, um, which I really love as well. Um, but I didn't have many of the watercolours, so I thought this was a good place to start. Okay, PR122, PV23 and PW6, and that is the lilac. It's tilting again. There we go. Let's see if I can keep you in one place. Just the way it's going to be. Okay. Little squadge on there. Well done, paints. You did me proud. <laughs> it caused me havoc. Ooh, that is nice. That's lovely. I did say that to everyone, didn't I? Yes, I did. I've got water running down my brush again. I've been again overzealous with the water application, but we will get the good idea of these anyway and regardless. Moving my dirty cloth out of the way. So those are the swatches. Really rather nice. Let me, uh, I don't know if I could take you down or this up. I don't know which is the best way to go. Let's go that way, shall we? I don't know if you'll be able to tell from the wonderful light I got from my window at the minute. It was super bright and now it's just weird. Ooh, we've got kind of an interesting splodge going on there. I think that was due to me adding a little extra water there, but you still get a general idea. So the colours are really nice. So I think I'm going to have go at painting a bird or a couple of birds. <laughs> Not quite sure yet, but the plan will come together very soon. While I'm slowly heading back to my apartment I'm not asking for your thoughts I'm just thinking out loud in the darkness Thank you. 
from the start Someone said you're There's my simple little painted bird. I just wanted to really just try out the colours and see how they're going to work with other things that I'm going to use them with. Um, so the base was um, the Holbein pastel colours, which I had here. I used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them out of the 12. I also used some um, uh, just basic gouache, white gouache in there just for some highlights. And on top of the base layer of watercolours, I then used some Holbein gouache, which I have on this very messy palette. Um, but yeah, when I run out of it, I just squeeze a bit more onto there. I quite like this, this 
stays on here forever literally and I and it always re-wets really nicely so the Holbein gouache is also excellent and I'm finished off with a few de details using the Holbein pencil so it's been a Holbein kind of day today really <laughs> um yeah so I'd like to do some more birds and things I think that's one of my plans coming up for the new year that I want to do some cards based on um different kinds of birds fantasy birds um basing them a little on reality but trying to create my own so that's that's a plan for the new year anyway if you've enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a little thumbs up which helps with the youtube algorithm tremendously and if you like the kind of content that we show here then please consider subscribing to my lowly channel <laughs> and we'd be happy to have you here and if you liked the paints or you want to know more about them stick me a message down in the comments if there's something about them if you've used them and you what do you think about them how do you find them let me know and we'll have a little discussion down in the comments have a great day and see you very soon bye for now